It's the ride of a lifetime. A journey of commitment to see who has the passion, the dedication, the endurance to become a true motorcycle club, a real MC. I don't feel like riding 85 miles an hour. I'm not gonna. Well, then you're breaking down the group dynamics, so you shouldn't be with this group. It's your choice. If you want to go over it, he's forcing you to go over. You're a victim. Some will stay, and some will go. I ride motorcycles, but really, I live the life Woo! of a biker. I've been fortunate enough to meet 16 guys in three different states. Most of these guys have never met. They don't know how each other rides. These guys are gonna find out who they really are and in a competitive mode because that's what a bike club is. The best will rise to the top. The others will fall away. What's up, bro? Hey, dude, good evening. <laughs> Welcome to my world. I've been riding motorcycles for 35 years, and the only reason I'm here yeah, is because yeah, Tommy well, Baker asked me to come to just start a motorcycle club, a real MC, and we all just have to get together about what it is we have to do to get it. Yeah, well, it was a maid's awesome, day off. Dude. Way more than I expected. This is the ultimate biker cave. Training. We gotta leave tonight because the other guys are beating us in LA. Man, my bike ain't finished yet, man. It's getting worked on right now. I took it down to Ron's. And, uh, you know, get on, honey. All right. Let's go. I can't believe it. Oh, shit, he's sitting in there. Yeah, he's right How do you know this guy? Hey, we let go of me and get off the We've bike. been friends since I was like 19, man. Hey, Ron. Sorry for making you wait so long, man. Looks good, dude. You guys, you really going to get this done, though? Hey, really? brother. Going. This bike's never been started. That motor's a brand new crate motor, so all we gotta do is get the gas tanks on and fire it. Woo! I work really hard during the week. The one time that I get to shut it all off is when I'm on my bike. Hi, honey. Hi, You're home. What are you doing? Well, uh... Getting ready for a ride. Okay, but you told me you weren't going. Well, Baker called. Why do you just, if somebody calls at the last second and you'll just take off, I don't understand. Do you know how important these rides are for me? We oh, talked sure. about this. No, we didn't talk I about it. I told you about, you about it two you months ago. You said you weren't going. You said you weren't going. I remember the conversation perfectly. It's, this is not the love ride, okay? If I'm going to be riding in the middle of a pack with 16 other guys that I'm not familiar with, you know, it's going to be dangerous. Who knows what's going to happen? Dave, same old Dave Rocher, buddy. <laughs> Where's Moody? He was behind us a minute ago. He got lost somewhere. You know, peeled off, and again, Moody's by himself. I told those guys I wanted to cut into this gas station. Now I'm lost. Well, it's about freaking time. 
Rico, how are you? I asked three different people how to get here, and I got no three no. different answers. Some guys are in Yuma, but they'll wait. That's the bottom line. They won't leave without us, that I know. Wait, no, this is Baker. Hold on, wait. Organization. What do you mean, guys? I think we should just take off and just, like, ride together and, uh, just Keep stay together, man. Keep it, yeah. Keep it That's tight. That's bad. Keep it tight, man. I'm Should sure we continue quick. on without him? And you want to call them? Or at least leave a message just to give me a heads up how far out we are? No problemo. Tom, how's that bike connection here? Nice. Took a little bit longer than we anticipated. Everybody's looking around for you. We don't know if you're in a ditch. No, 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 no. We're just getting gas and we're on our way. We'll be half an hour max. No. <laughs> for 100 miles. Shut up. All right, all right. You know what? That we got to get out of here because we, ha we have to meet some other people. We're late. They're waiting for us to get there. Would you leave if I didn't show up? Would you leave? I'll meet you No, somewhere. I wouldn't leave you. You would wait till I got there, yeah, no matter. Yeah. If they split, then they don't want to be in a bike club. Well, why and they'll just be three. Vote time. Do we leave or do we stay? Vote. Leave. Vote. We already need Vote! Yes or no? Go or stay? Go. 40 minutes, stay. stay. Go! Stay. Stay. Pussies. <laughs> <laughs> it's a stalemate. Three, three. Hey, wait! Uh, wait! Wait! Hey, no, Bud! Bud's not here! Bud did it! Bud's not here! Let's go! Come on! Get on your bike, Let's go! Not here. Here. Come on! Bud said yes! No, he didn't. He, he never said, said yes. He just said, he goes, Get him on the phone. You said, Give me the phone. We're down the road. You said, You're a puss. Baker would not wait for us. He's he's almost here. It's just chill. You guys are, oh, come on. Closing time. Take it somewhere else. Down, you go, hurry up, get it fixed. Let's go, let's go, let's get it out. Petey. All right, we're going, we gotta go. Why don't you I'm shut up? No, Petey, come here. Go ahead, T. Come on, dude. No, no. Is this your spokesperson? No. Come on, bud. No. Tell him. Did you break down? Did I sit for half a day while you got your pipes fixed and said no yes. problem? So what are you talking last about? Last rate. What are you talking last, about? Last time. This is where we need to straighten you out. So when you tell us to meet you at 12.30 and you're oh. But look, look. Oh, I know they're... <laughs> <laughs> so you. you guys got to hear about our crossing into Arizona. What happened? Well, coming into Arizona from California is what we were doing. And Tommy had a, a brainstorm, and he says, man, fuck them helmets. I'm throwing it in the fucking river. That's what I did, right at the Arizona sign. And I'm like this, trying to get it off of my glasses. <laughs> I'm watching him, and he it. takes his helmet and off and throws it over No, no, I got my glasses. <laughs> we pull over afterwards, because they went right after this. They take the helmets off, and they go, nice job. Cops are coming. There's a cop. I didn't see no. Yeah, he's they, seen them throw it. Guys. Cops are on their way. Go, go, go. go. Yeah. So the California yeah. cops. We're yeah, racing we're around to come and get us. So yeah. we got on our bikes and raced to the other it. side to get going. into Arizona fast enough. I got a ticket so going they, to Havasu that way. Whoa! It's Rick Hans pulling. Hey, Tommy, how you doing, buddy? We're at Cordis Junction here. Uh, we just got uh, fuel. Everybody's uh, filled up. We're ready to go. Well, how about if we meet then Skull Valley? Skull Valley Cemetery, buddy. You got it. Kevin tells me Moody don't have us vest. What's Moody doing here? He didn't bring his vest? And what's Kevin doing just ratting people out? Those two guys, I mean, they should have stayed in Vegas, both of them. Moody shows up without his vest. Nobody seems to much care. Moody definitely doesn't care. 
I thought it was about us all being together, being a team, making a statement. He wants to make a statement that he's not part of the team. I don't get it. Oh, you better have exactly what it is. Here's what you need to do. Before we leave, call some right now, and that desk gets press call. Nobody can get it, and there's no way to do it. Well, then go home and get it. I'm going home to get it. Well, then we're done. Have you guys noticed one of us isn't wearing his vest? I'm just kind of wondering, what do you think about him not having their vest? We wore our vest. Everyone's got their vest. It's sort of what we're doing here today. You got your vest. Put it on, or I don't have it. I think the vest is kind of a bunch of bullshit, and I just left it on my couch. It's just not my game, so. I suggest go back to Vegas, get his vest, and catch up whenever. <clears throat> but I'll leave it to a majority vote. What are we going to do? OK, hold on. I, I have a suggestion. Maybe for the next couple days or until he gets his vest, he can prospect. Mm -hmm. Prospect? You mean bitch around for us? Mean cleaning our bikes? <laughs> well, we, we all have to decide what, what that means. What does it mean to be a prospect? So, number one, going home and getting his vest. Okay. <laughs> Vote number two, that he prospect for the trip, and he's our, our maid or our prospect. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. Prospect! <laughs> it's your call. What do you want to do? Back to you. <laughs> you can. You got one. Either Prescott or I won't. One of the two. If you want to roll with us, you roll with us now. It's a prospect for the whole trip. If you don't roll with us now, that's because you're going to go get your best. Let's go. Let's get out here. Pursue speed. I can't believe none of the guys voted with me to send Moody home. I mean, it's all about the patch, the cut, the vest. Three of the four chapters meet up in Yuma, while Phoenix, with only a short ride, was just getting started. The final roundup is set for Skull Valley. Can I have your attention? If you're looking for Moody, he's without a vest. So we sent him home. Uh, no, 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 no. Moody, Moody showed up without his vest. So we gave him a choice. Instead of going all the way back to Vegas to get his vest, he could ride with us as a prospect. <laughs> I took the vote. There was one that said go home and get your vest. <laughs> it was at you. <laughs> and everybody else said, no, How many people no, voted for him to be a prospect? The rest of us. <laughs> Double or nothing, Moody shows up in Prescott. <laughs> Instead of goes home? Uh, he's too much of a pussy to go home. <laughs> Double or nothing. But I agree with you, he's too much of a pussy to go home. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll wait a few more minutes. I mean, we're not in any hurry. There you go. There you go. Right there. Ow! Hey, Kevin. Go. Oh. All right, well, this is nothing this is for nothing, house. but this is house right right shooting this way is a much lesser fine than shooting across the road. So go ahead, shoot again. <laughs> Let's have a little target practice real quick. The post on the left. Bingo, right there. Did you hit it? <laughs> you see that old lady squatting in front of that little house? There goes a rabbit. There goes a rabbit. Damn, everyone's freaking out. I better put this thing away. It's your decision, your level of commitment, that you're willing to stay the course or go home. So, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs>